Hi everybody, this is Josh from Palmer Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create business cards using iDraw. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing that you want to do before starting any design for your business card is know the dimensions of your business card. And uh, the best way is to get a template from whoever is going to actually be printing the cards. So they're like Vista Print or Got Print. In this case, we're going to use Got Print. They provide uh, files for download that are set up exactly for their print specifications. And so it's the easiest way to get started with a document template that's not all the measurements for you already. So if we go to download templates here on GotPrint, we see business cards, and from there I can select what format I want. So I'd like a two by three and a half inch, that's a standard business card, and I'm gonna choose the Illustrator file and it saves it as a zip so let's go and extract that and we have um, business card 3.5 by 2 inch front we really only need the front because the back the back is going to be exactly the same so I'm just going to drag that into iDraw and here you see our document has been set up for us now what I normally do at this point is rename this layer here and just call it guides and then I lock it um, one thing you could do is before you lock it is just get rid of this background we don't need the white background there so we can get rid of that then we can lock it create a new layer put it underneath and for now I'm just going to turn off the guides completely just the eyeball they're still in there just temporarily hidden and so this is where I could start building my design for the front and this is how I usually set up my my documents so just have one layer for the front and one layer for the back and then I've got that layer that just has the guides and this makes it very easy to organize my entire design so I'll turn my guides back on and and uh, the guides in here, this is, these are all vector shapes. So all of this stuff is uh, selectable once it's unlocked. So if I want to just get rid of this, um, uh, the, you know, the, the info here, the key, key information, I could turn that off and then lock it again. Uh, and now I'm set up and ready to go. The um, info just tells me that this pink line or red if it shows on your screen is red is where the document's going to be cut and so we want to have um, uh, graphics or, or color that goes beyond that to give bleed but we don't want any text to go outside this blue line the blue line is our safety line so no important information or shapes or anything should touch that line or go beyond it so our document now is set up it's ready to go and uh, I'm going to select my front layer here. And I often just create a shape for my background. It will snap to the document size there. So now I've got a solid shape. Another thing I'm going to do is just turn off the background color and just make it transparent in the, in the doc for the actual document. And uh, so here I could put in my logo and I'm just going to pretend yeah I'm building my own here so let's just drag and drop in my my logo here resize it and get my smart guides here to just center it up you can change this color okay and say that's all I want on the, on the front. Well, then that's done. I can now go to, to the back layer, make sure that's selected. I could hide the front. And now um, I'm on the back. Now the back, I want to have some contrast. So I'm just going to make it a white background. 
and I'm going to use another version of my logo. Change the color. Maybe resize it. Okay, then you can use the text box, and this would be a great place to put in your contact info. Phone number, etc. You can have whatever you want. Design it however you like. So now within this one document, I've got the front, the back, and the guides. The guides help me know where to put things inside the uh, document so that everything's lined up and doesn't uh, go out of bounds or get cut off accidentally. So now I could save this. If I just want the front, I'll, I'll make sure that that's the only thing visible. So I'll turn off the guides. Command Option E is my shortcut for export. I can go to JPEG. And let's make sure that this is at 300. Okay. 300 image resolution at 100% scale. And I could also move the quality all the way to 100%. Then I can click Save and give it a name. So this business card. Front. Likewise, I'm going to just show the back. Command Option E. And uh, I've already got my resolution set and my quality set. Click Save. I'll name this one Business Card Back. So now I've got two JPEG files that I can upload to uh, Got Print or whatever your chosen uh, printer of preference is. At 300 resolution, these are really nice and crisp, high quality images ready to be printed. So that's how you set up your document for printing a custom business card using iDraw, working with layers and working with guides. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.